We are Casey and Savannah, and we've been best friends for 10 years. Give me a look at that. They're like a printed, you can see the mountains actually. Over the years, we have been on many adventures, including plenty of travel, hiking the John Muir Trail, starting multiple businesses, building out a camper van, and creating a little homestead in the city. You even may have seen one of our mini DIY stock tank pool videos. We recently bought five acres of raw land in the Upper Cumberland area of Tennessee and are embarking on our biggest adventure yet. Follow along as we build our off-grid homestead from the ground up. On the forecast, we have 10 days of no rain. Some days it's partly cloudy, a lot of days it's sunny, a lot of the days, I actually think all the days are over freezing, so it is crunch time. In order for us to get into our lovely house, in order to move into it, we have to do a few things, and the most important is we have to install a window back here and a door. Once that's done, we have to move into waterproofing every window and every door that is on the exterior of this house. So we really need the sun and the warmth to be able to do that. After that, we will go into running our electrical wires and then insulating and covering the insulation up with our walls. So it's kind of a long list of things to do for us to be able to move into this house, but we are so ready, we're past ready, we want to get in here so bad. It's time to get busy. So the first thing we need to do in order to get the window installed is we've got to figure out where it's going. We know a general idea of where it's going, but we need to do the measurements and figure out exactly where it's going because we don't want to have to cut a hole and it not be right. So I'm going to go ahead and take all this stuff down right here and then we're going to have a conversation about where that window's going. basement when we moved in there we always uh, were like what is this for we decided we could use it on our greenhouse we were gonna build there which we never finished so we decided to bring it with us here and install it I'm not sure if you can tell how dirty this is but it is filthy so Casey's going to attempt to clean it out here it also has like old painters tape or old masking tape or something I guess someone was painting the window not sure so that's gonna oh Blair that is going to have to be addressed basically don't need it to be perfectly clean just yeah not disgusting if you don't know the way we can stop and make a change <laughs> I know <laughs> we won for days losing hope fading love this night will be okay Waking up to another about to cut the biggest hole mm -hmm. in our house we've cut so far. We have a window that is, uh, what is it? 53 and a half by like 62 and a half. It's huge. So 
we're excited because basically when you walk in the front door you're just going to have this window to the outside it's going to be pretty cool i'll show you so i don't know if you can tell like that there's the couch but it's off against the wall and it's going to go just in that general area <laughs> big open space right Locker there window. and now we rebuild the window frame The general shape our couch will go right up to there so it'll seem like a window wall let me go this way our front door and you will walk in and basically see nature again there it is So Savannah just nailed in the last bit of trim. Basically, if you can tell from the video, like on that side of the window, there's trim. Then you put down butyl tape. Butyl tape. Then you put the put you put the window in, and you put down another piece of trim on this side. So it's like sandwiched in so there's like you know trim here trim on that side and the window is sandwiched in with that tape that seals it 
and you know there's that kind of weird edge in there there was some like tape from the 1900s in there i swear mm -hmm. um that's like become one with the glass so that's kind of why there's this strange jagged edge which we'll have to use like goo gone to get that off and you can see it needs to be clean and painted. and painted yes you can't super tell that in this picture the way the light is but it needs to be painted badly all right now that we have the window in it's time to get the door in we have about two hours before the sun sets so i feel like that's probably going to be cutting it a little close to try to make a goal of getting the door completely done but we can at least get it framed We're getting closer and closer to being able to move in here. We've gone back and forth a million times about could we move in here without insulation, um, but I think we're getting close enough to being able to put in insulation. And it's still, we still got, you know, what is it today? I don't know, February something. So we really have all of February, all of March before usually april is not so cold all that to say about two months and we'd like to be in here moved in here before two months is over obviously we'll have a ton more to do in the house i mean we won't have a kitchen or plumbing or anything um or appliances or anything but we feel like we could put a bed in here and live in here when that has been done so it's very exciting So when we bought our land this summer, we actually discovered that there is a maple tree on our property that is big enough to tap, which is something Casey and I've always wanted to try. And it is the perfect weather for that right now. You want it to be above freezing in the day and below freezing at night, which we have like 10 days of that. So we're going to tap our first maple tree. The oh, I didn't bring the hammer. I brought, I thought I brought everything, but let's just see what happens. Well, I need the hammer to hammer it in. Maybe you can use something else other than a hammer here. I don't think that's working. <laughs> it is, but somebody forgot the hammer, so that means somebody else has to go get it. <laughs> I got everything else. We haven't been able to find any other maples on our property. I will also say I don't think we've walked every inch of it. So there might be some, um, but this one is just over the size for just tapping, putting one tap in. So we definitely won't be getting a ton of sap, but we're excited to just see what happens. a wild species of cat. So, this, mm, that's the tap, the sap will flow out into this bucket. Hopefully. Hopefully. However, I don't 
feel particularly helpful. First of all, we don't even have the right kind of maple trees here. You're really supposed to have sugar maple, but you can dab any maple, but we just thought, hey, let's just try it. But anyway, just a big old experiment. So apparently in the shade, which, I mean, this tree's partially in the shade, um, it may not be warm enough. The tree may not be warm enough to um, have the sap flowing. So we'll just leave this up here and come check it every day, I guess, and see if anything has started flowing. It is supposed to get warmer over the next three days, so hopefully something will something will come out eventually. Today we are having, um, well, first we went into town. It's our town day. Um, but now we are doing generator maintenance because we got back and there's um, at like an hour or something. I don't know what time it is. Left of sunlight. So we were like, this is a good time to work on our generators because one, you just have to do maintenance, but two, one of them's not working. Um, this generator is a month old and it just, it just, ah! The cat is trying to scale me. <laughs> um, it just not working. And uh, we don't know why, so we're mechanics now. Um, in case you... We're at least trying to learn yeah. to be mechanics. So yeah. right now, Casey is pulling this panel off so we can drain the carburetor. Go ahead. This is on. Okay, that's that one. Is this? Oh my God. So hopeful. No, I didn't actually. Is this mean it has gas or it needs gas? Let me see. Yeah, I think that's full. Ready? in our house definitely need some stairs yeah so here is our door we would love to have a door that had the windows all the way down however our last house we had that which made it basically impossible to have a doggy door and we got to have a doggy door that's all there is to it So sun is going down, but we have a hole in our door, so we have a lot of work to do. Let me show you what I'm doing. Right now, I'm just, I just put all the flashing on, and then we are going to, <laughs> the dogs are like, what is this hole that didn't used to be here? Um, so next, I'm gonna build the frame, so we can put that in there. Got a few steps before we have a door to close. Also, Casey has been working on getting this place organized. I know this doesn't seem super organized, but this is all of our tools and things that will one day leave this area. Um, and she's been cleaning up 
stuff over here because this is, you know, our uh, shared bedroom area. So she's kind of cleaning up all the mess we've had because we have had to do so many projects in here. So we have so many wood scraps and trash and just all kinds of stuff. So she's been working on that. I'm working on getting this door in. She'll probably have to help me a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's it's a long ways away from where we can move in, it seems like, but hoping that honestly, like in a week, maybe two at most, we'll be able to be living in here full time. So our neighbors brought us uh, some homemade bread today. Look how massive this is. Very excited. And I've been wanting a peanut butter jelly sandwich, something I love. Casey does not like peanut butter jelly sandwiches, but um, I like it with strawberry jam. And this is our last one, last one of the year. So we'll have to, I'll use this and then we will be strawberry jamless until the strawberries come back in season. We do have a lot of other jam, but the only thing I like on peanut butter jelly sandwiches are is strawberry jam. We have peach jam, which is really great, but no, not gonna do that. Also, I don't have a bread knife because we don't have anything in here. Oh, okay, thickest bread slice ever. Mmm. It's gonna be the biggest peanut butter jelly sandwich I've ever eaten. But I am very hungry, so. I'm excited to one day intro to introduce you to our neighbors. Um, they actually have a YouTube channel. It's Bailey Hills Farms. I'll link it in the description box so you can go look at it. Um, but yeah, one day you will get to meet them. But for now, meet their bread.
been easier to do while it was not attached to the house? Why, yes, I would. <laughs> but well, we do things the easy way. Sometimes you have to put things up because you don't want them to break and your house is so tiny that they're just in the way if they're not up. So, it just happens that way sometimes. Also, and when you have the desire to do a task you've been putting off for a hundred years, you just go with it.